I'm not big on speeches. I've always believed that the role of the bartender is to shut up and listen. And by that measure, Gabe was the worst bartender I've ever known. I never issued a speeding ticket to someone on a bicycle before until he came along. He cared so much about my admissions essay. Even though he probably couldn't spell admissions <laughs> or essay. <laughs> he booked my band to play the lantern all the way from Seattle to pretty much right where I'm standing. I can recall 14 specific instances where Gabe said something that made me laugh. <laughs> the first was two years ago. So, long story short, instead of a ticket, I ended up buying him a beer. Gabe stood like three feet away, grinning like a doofus at us. I'm sure there were more people, but I only remember him. And then he said, I know, that's why the K is silent. <laughs> Then the fifth time... He cared about everyone. He was the kind of guy you wanted to be around. He was a world-class bullshitter. He was my best friend. say about Gabe is he came into this bar as a stranger but he left it as family <clears throat> guess that's that then what happened to Gabe was a senseless, tragic accident. And I just wish it that... It wasn't an accident. Son, now is not the time. Gabe called the mine. I gave him my sat phone to be sure he could get through. They fucked up. And now... Now Gabe's dead. That was my shift. If anyone had called, it would have gone through me. Nobody called. You're lying. In front of Gabe's own fucking sister, Alex heard the whole thing. Oh my god. Hi guys, this is intense. I don't remember, but yeah, I, I think he called. He's right. I was there when Gabe made the call. I kind of remember seeing I'd him like on the phone. I'd like to hear what you have to say about that, Mac. I'm not saying anything. Just, I didn't get a call. Draw your own conclusions. All right, folks. This is an ongoing investigation. How about that we review the sequence of events? Hmm? Oh, shit. Son, when I saw you at the I record store, the you choice? seemed pretty eager to find Gabe. Remember why? Hmm? Another fight with Riley, maybe? No, I don't have to take this. Just saying, pretty wild that you come stumbling out of Gabe's apartment with your face all fucked up. Right. And just a couple hours later, you just so happened to miss the call that would have saved his life? Look, I told you there was no call to miss. Hey, maybe the call got dropped. 
Oh shit, I mean, it's not like... It's not like Gabe was Mr. Reliable all the time. You watch your mouth, Mac. Ryan, that's enough. Now, I'm just as eager as you to understand all this, son, but there was a time... Bullshit, Dad. This little weasel's calling Gabe a liar at his own fucking wake. No, I am just telling you. Mac, I swear, if you say there was no call one more fucking time... Stop it! Stop it now! This is not the time or place. We're all here for Gabe. Okay, Ryan? Sure, I'm... I'm sorry. It's not... I'm just trying... I'm not the one who killed him. <laughs> he did cut the rope. Aren't you, though? What the fuck did you just say? Ryan, back off. Oh, hell. I'm just saying. I thought I heard that you were the one. You shut the hell up. No. No, go ahead. You got something to say, Mac? Let's fucking hear Come it. Come on, guys. Don't make me intervene. All right. Fine. As long as we're tossing around accusations, way I hear it, you're the guy who cut the rope. Why not That's you? That's it. Wait's over. Everyone, out! Alex? Hey. Fuck those guys. Yeah. Are you okay? Well, no. How could you be okay? I mean, her, her brother just died. Also, hi guys. That was intense. I'm Blackheart, welcome back to Life of Strange Tree, True Colors. Um... <laughs> God, no. I'm a fucking wreck. It's not your job to keep it together. Thanks. To you, um, it's messy, but do you want to come in? Sure. You play guitar? Uh, we kind of do, but I guess we kind of don't. Sort of. It was a gift. From Gabe. Cool. Oh yeah, stuff's in a band. Forgot about that. Gabe would try to pop wheelies outside the record store to make me laugh. Never worked. Till he wiped out. That was hilarious. 
I don't know why the sound's lagging and the subtitles. I feel like a song should be playing right now. Gabe really wanted to do the art for Ethan. But by the end of it, he was more jazzed about it than anybody. Wish I could have seen it. So what happened to Gabe? Like, we called and he spoke to somebody. He said they, s they told him they would hold the explosions. We took this a year ago. We... Unless he lied about making the call, but why would he? That would make no sense. No way. I can't. What? You actually kept it. has the power to read other people's emotions. So yeah. Calm down, Alex. You're fine. You're fine. Whatever that bottle made her think of, it really messed her up. I wonder if I could help her the same way I helped Ethan. We could try. But now I'm very confused about what I actually need to feel happened at the mountain. To figure out how to help her. Did Gabe actually make the call? That the because in the last episode there Ethan, the little boy, he got lost in the woods. And the, the company was going to set off explosions on the mountain for some reason. Cause, and they, they, I don't know why. And he called somebody, because he was on the phone with somebody. And then he said that the mining company would hold off the explosions until we called them back and told them we found the boy. That's what he said. Now, Mac said... He didn't get a phone call, but there's a world where maybe he didn't call Mac. Maybe he had a maybe he called someone else. And that if we find out who that person is, if we can find out if Gabe lied about the phone call, which I don't see a reason why he would. But now I don't know what happened, but he he died because of that explosion. He fell off and uh, he almost pulled us down because everybody was tied together by a rope. And yeah. And then the, the blonde guy, I forget his name, cut him. Ryan? I think it was Ryan. Ryan cut the rope to save both of us from being dragged down. But then Gabe also got hit on the head by boulders.
guessing this is gonna be sad because her aura was blue. Red for anger, blue for sadness, purple, I'm not sure. Because, uh, yeah, these are like, every emotion has a color. Now I can find out what's really going on with Steph. It's like Alex can see auras and also see thoughts attached to the emotions. What are they called again? Don't shit on my yard! They're amazing! Their guitarist has one arm! Badass! Okay, it, music was playing so maybe we need to put on some music to make her snap out of it. What happened with the foosball? I, I, I think we we're gonna get to play her at some point. <laughs> Dude, give it up. I already booked a bus ticket. Wait, wait, hear me out. One more game. If I win, you have to stay. If you win, I'll cover the ticket. You just lost 50 bucks. Oh, shit. That's not something you gamble on table football. I'm guessing there's something else we can look at? Mm. The bottle. Yeah. Now we can also look at this. What is this? Damn it! Fucking overpowered blue meteor! Aww, <laughs> is your controller broken too? We're playing until I win. Then I'll be crashing here tonight. But I'm starting to think that Steph stayed in this town because of Gabe. And maybe she has some regrets about it. I don't know. I'm getting that impression. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting your new foosball champion. Gabe Chen. Oh, you're the worst! Can't believe I have to stay in this stupid town. I think we both know you could have beat me if you really wanted to. So you're welcome. Bullshit. I just need some time. Okay, looks like I missed something. Okay. Maybe I can put some music on to distract her from this? No, we can just look. What am I missing? I need to find out why Steph is so upset. Okay, let's try the foosball table again. Is it gonna be a different Wait, memory? wait, hear me out. One more game. If I win, you have to stay. Yeah. So, it's the same memory. But... Something else must have happened? Well, we know Gabe won. But like... What else? What other thing is there? What do we need to find? They played a, a game. And she lost. And she had to stay here. Oh, what's this? Here's to your new job at the station. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm not taking it. I move to Denver next week. You what? I think I know enough to help her now. She was offered a job here. And she was afraid of taking it? Okay. Like, why would you leave when you're being offered a job? Don't 
Don't screw this up, Alex. Still can't believe he's gone. Yeah. He's the whole reason I'm still... I'm sorry, Alex. Don't mind me. It's okay to be upset. Maybe she's not in the. Maybe music will change the mood. I could put on a record if you like. Sometimes, oh boy, I don't know. Maybe something else. Well, I don't know. Try not to talk about foosball. Playing video games wouldn't help, so maybe offer her a drink. Sometimes people want to get drunk when they feel bad. Sure. Sometimes they want to listen to music to, to not feel bad and, like, distract themselves. That wasn't right. And sometimes they want to talk about what's bothering them. Depends. I don't know. I'm socially awkward. I'm, like, the worst person to ask for advice in these situations. Want to get a few matches of Dino Racer in? Could be a nice distraction. I don't know, maybe the video games is the right answer. No thanks. I just need a minute. Sometimes leaving them alone is better. That didn't help. If it just feels like she wants to be left alone and I'm bothering her. I was uh, trying to avoid the topic that had her so upset in the first place, but like, okay. Let's, let's talk about the elephant in the room then. Maybe she'll want to talk about it. How about a quick match? So gonna lose. Did Gabe tell you we played? Mm, had a hunch sounds cooler. I just had a hunch. Yeah? Well, you're right. I mean, he's got a foosball table in his room. I don't really think it's a great time. All of our options are gone. Fine. Oh. Now she's competitive. At least she's not sad anymore, maybe. First to five points? I am so gonna lose. If you say so. I am so gonna lose this. How does this work? Oh my gosh, okay. A, S, D, So, F. how often did you and Gabe play? It was one of our favorite games. Oh, cool. You must be pretty good then. Mm-hmm. I've never played table foosball in real life. Okay, I can move this. You were in a band, right? Yeah. What'd you play? Drums. Shit. How, uh, how long did you play with them? <sighs> Too long. 
Oh, did something happen between her and her band? There's gotcha. too much going on. I'm terrible at this. No. Ah. Uh, frick. I suck at this. Oh, I scored. A point. Cool. Um, no, I'm terrible. Never ignore me. I'm terrible. <laughs> I'm I've never played this. I don't know how this game works. Uh, no. Let is letting her win the best the the, the right choice. Oh my gosh. Come on. No. Ah, crap. Oh my gosh, this is complicated. Am I supposed to lose or win to make her feel better? What's the right answer? What's the right answer? <laughs> because if I'm supposed to win, this is it might as well be Mission Impossible. I don't know. Just... Okay. I, ooh, I scored a point. Okay, cool. I don't suck as absolutely... Okay. Ah, this, this... No, move these guys. Okay. Uh, I'm just pressing random buttons simultaneously, hoping it, I win. <laughs> But winning might piss her off. I don't know. Uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> What's the best option here? Oh, I'm scoring. Okay. I <sighs> wait. Uh, is she just actually bad? Maybe if she loses, she's gonna be like, well. She won't feel bad about losing to Gabe on that day because she's just like maybe she'll realize like, oh, I'm just shit at this. So it I shouldn't feel bad about losing. Like, maybe I just shouldn't feel bad. Okay, just score, 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 score. Come on, one more point. One more point, and we... Yes! We beat her, I think. <laughs> or maybe we're gonna Five make points. her feel worse. Best game! Yep. Big shocker. Or did I make it worse? Oh, hey, at least you played your best. I mean, that obviously wasn't my best. I get it. I mean, this is a tough game. It requires skill, timing, and the will to be a champion. Yeah, now you're kind of being a dick, Alex. Just rubbing it in. Oh, is that how it is? Oh, I guess it's working. I guess winning was the right answer. It's great to play with you. I guess. Okay, okay. Joking aside, playing this stupid game with you is exactly what I need right now. I feel like this is nicer. You're on. Oh, I guess it worked. I guess winning was right, but... Oh, we get to do this again! I'm actually trying this time. So oh. You focus. Oh no! I am focusing. I'm scared. <laughs> Good. Wouldn't want you to get distracted or anything. Okay, maybe I should just Certainly lose this not. time. Uh. Oh okay. god. Keep keep your eye on the ball. Keep your eye on the ball. Greatest Northwest band of all time. Go. <laughs> Are you uh, trying to distract me? Oh my gosh. Of course not. Uh. This is harder! Slater Kinney, if you were wondering. I don't know who that is. I don't know if that's a real person or someone they made up for the game. Oh boy. Wait, did she get two on me? She got two points on me already. Oh crap. Oh crap! Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. <laughs> Okay, I, if I lose like four to five, I won't feel bad. But if it's like, uh, damn it, uh, where's the stupid ball? Okay, <laughs> it's a tie. It's a tie. It's 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 a, it's it's ah oh, frick. It's a close game. It's a very close game. Fuck, fuck, frick. Ah, I don't know what I'm doing. I, Okay! Neck and neck. Close game! Alright. Uh. Okay, I... 
Oh, no, no, no. I kind of want to win it and I kind of... Uh, I kind of do want to win though. Yes! Score! Woo! Oh, that's a win. Shit. I was actually trying <laughs> that time. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's get serious. One more game, winner takes title of ultimate foosball champion. I guess she's mm, happy. I don't know. Oh, come on. You know Gabe would be all about his playing like this. Yeah, he would. Probably. Well, then it's settled. Oh boy. I, <laughs> this is it for all the marbles. I think I'm so going to lose marbles. this one. Definitely the kind of game you want to focus on, no matter what happens. Okay. I think I'm going to lose this time, and it's not on purpose. But I just think, like, the AI is going to beat me. Oh crap. Hey, so are you into girls or what? Oh. Uh, both? I guess? I don't know. I'll date anybody, assuming they're my type. Uh, What's your type? I'll let you know when I meet them. <laughs> I really don't know. Alex has is giving me mixed vibes. Like, I don't, I, I don't know how. Uh, this is what? I, if I can just score one. What? Uh, oh, oh, fucking finally! Oh. The house of Chen crumbles at last. <laughs> At least she's having fun now. Yeah. Is is romance gonna be a thing in this? Good game. Thank you. You're a much better loser than Gabe. That's no fun. Well, there's no fun in being a sore loser. <laughs> Sorry to spoil the victory. <sighs> She's not sad anymore. That's great. I guess we give her the trophy now? So, what are you gonna do now? No idea. Find out what, what really mean? happened? That shit with Mac. He's clearly lying, right? Need more info. I'm not sure what Max Steele is. His story doesn't add up. Yeah. I do know that I need to find out exactly what happened that night. For myself and for Gabe. Yeah. Because there is a possibility. I've got your back. No oh. No matter what. Now we got Steph in our court. Cool. Thank you. Cool, cool, cool. That means a lot. We did beat her at the jukebox game. Now we kind of beat her twice and let her I win once. I should head back to work. Uh, she's cool, cool though. I don't know. I really like stuff. Bye. Yeah. Bye. 
I love her dragon necklace. She's in a band. She 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 plays D and D. She likes LARPing. Definitely my kind of person. But did Mac really let the blast go off just to get back at him? I don't think Mac was lying. I think I think he wasn't the person that Gabe called. I just don't know how we prove that and if like if he called someone like at the top then that means that company is into some shady freaking practices. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. There was that blonde lady at the bar. Oh, uh, we can change our outfit, which I think I'm gonna do that. Yep. It has to be this. It, it's so cute. Okay, what do we need to look at here? Um, anyone who could be of hint. Um, the kind of person who got that worked up over a college essay could be capable of almost anything. Yeah. He was helping her with that essay and then Mac thought that Gabe and his girlfriend were having an affair, but he was just helping her to get into college, which she didn't want Mac to know because he's a douchebag. Uh, we need to clean up, right? So long, depression food. I mean... We need to bust the person responsible for what happened. Um, Cause like, we called in telling that there's a child lost on the mountain and that there's a group of people looking for that child and they decide to set off explosions anyway. That's like seriously bad. This could be a scandal. Like, one person died, yeah, but like, the child and everyone else looking for that child could have died. Like... They... They really, like, didn't care. See? I can be a person. I don't know. Cleaning up is like... It means you're getting over your depression. I know it's been like, what? Maybe two days since her brother died? It's like, maybe too soon, but like... Being a slob is bad. Yeah, I should really listen to my own advice and clean up too. <laughs> um, okay, we Feels still Feels like have a million effect? years since that day with Gabe. Hasn't even been a week. Yeah, it's only been a few days, so... I don't know. I think we need to head into town and, s and look for clues. We need to find out who he really called. Uh. Oh yeah, snowboards. Well, there's no snow right now. We can't go snowboarding anyways. Oh, what notes? Oh well. Let's go. Let's go find out what really happened. They picked the goofiest picture they could find. I guess that's just testament to the kind of person he was. It's like... He was that goofy older brother type, not just to his sister, but to everyone. Oh. 
Oh, hey, kid, you don't have to do that. Too late. Wanted to apologize. For all of us. We're all grieving, but that's no excuse. It was your brother's wake, and you both deserve better than listening to a bunch of fools squabble. I mean, hey, everybody grieves in their own ways. Well, some people get angry, some people cry, and some people just shut down. I appreciate it. That was pretty rough. Although it's hard to imagine a good version of your dead brother's wake. I mean, yeah. No, there's no good version. Just all of us trying to get through it together the best we can. Jed's a really nice guy. Wasn't the first wake held in this old building. I doubt it'll be the last. Oh, he's seen some shit. Oh yeah, he anyway, used to be- Anyway, if there's anything I can do, just let me know. He used to work for that company. That set off I the explosion. I need to talk to Mac. I know he's lying. I just don't know why. Any idea where I can find him? Well, he helps out Eleanor at the flower shop. That'd be the place to start. Okay. Thanks. I feel like I should warn you, though. You might not get the kind of closure you're looking for. If you get any at all. Just don't pin all your hopes on Mac Loudon. Yeah, he's weird. There's something going on with him. Okay, so I'll be careful. Thanks for looking out for me, but what else am I supposed to do? I wish I had an answer for you. But, if you get a chance before you go all dirty, Harry, swing by the dispensary. Charlotte wants to see you. Okay. And one more thing. Oh? I've been meaning to give you this for the last few days, but I didn't want to disturb you up there. It'll get you through that door, and the one upstairs. Well, it is our place, technically. So we can come and go as we please. This is your home now. For as long as you'd like. He's such a nice old man. He's like a grandfather. Okay, what about rent? We don't have a job. What about rent? I don't want to be a freeloader. Yeah, we kind of do have a job at the bar. Don't worry about that for right now. We'll work out a way for you to earn your keep when the time comes. Oh, he's just super nice. Thank you. No wonder Give he's the help. town hero. <laughs> like, he saved a bunch of people from the mines. When they caved in, like, he's just... Oh my gosh, like... I... I have no idea what to even say to him. I mean, he cut the rope, but... Oh, it's so... Oh my god, I... 
I don't know how to feel about this, like, in this situation. Like, it's an awful situation. He cut the rope, so yeah, technically he did, like, kill... But, like... Oh, uh, he's he's not a killer. Like, we all would have fallen. We all would have fallen down into a ravine and died if he hadn't done it. Like, we, it would be a funeral for all of us. If he hadn't done it. But it's like... It's really hard. Like, I could see from Alex's perspective. Like, it's really hard not to blame him. Even though, like, he, he saved you and it's like... You know, everyone in this town is so nice. It's like, I don't know. Like, how, how do you feel about someone who cut the rope that was holding your brother to avoid no. you dying? And it's like... It's it it's a tough call. It's like he was able to make a really tough call and that was his best friend. So it's really like it wasn't easy for him to do that. He's probably going through hell like emotionally right now. Like But at the same time, I can see where Alex would be like, "Yeah, you killed my brother even though it was to save us." Like I hate you. <laughs> kind of. Thanks for saving my life, but I wish you didn't. You know, that, that sort of feeling. I feel like this, this, this stuff takes time to process where you can, like, handle this in, in, in this kind of situation. It's, it's a really tough situation. It's like, where you have to, like, a second to make a choice. It's like, it's, it's really tough. Yeah, nature really doesn't care if someone died. It just goes on being beautiful and not caring. Okay, Jed said I might find Mac in the flower shop. But I have time to swing by the dispensary if I want. So I think we make the trip. We go to the dispensary and then we go hunt for Mac. I think I'm gonna be splitting this episode into two parts like I did the last one because these tend to go on for a long time and I feel like it's been going on for quite a bit. I might add the dispensary part to this one. We're getting a lot of messages. Let's go look at that statue of Jed. Oh, the sheriff. Um, is he a friend? Oh, his name's Pike. Like the fish. The park looks fun to explore. Yeah, that is Statue of Jed, right? At least back then, the only people dying in mining accidents were miners. Or I guess it's for the miners. Do you see him over by the water? Over by the water? What? I always figured mining was dangerous. But damn. To the memories of the eight miners killed in the Teller Mine. Oh, that's... That's an old one. Yeah, he looked rough. I didn't talk to him. I wasn't really sure what to say. By the water? Who are you talking about? Can we talk to you? No. Not yet. I guess that's not something we've unlocked. Uh, can we talk to Pike? Hey, Pike. Hey! Um, how are you holding up? Not great? I mean, guess I've been better. Yeah, right. Dumb question. Thanks for caring, I guess. Hey, I want you to know I meant what I said back there. Gabe was something else. 
that he could bring a smile to my face even on the worst days. Worst days? You live in a small town where nothing bad happens. Except for, well, this one incident yeah. right now. That's what everyone's been saying. And, uh... When you're ready, I still need to get your statement for the investigation. Oh, so there is an investigation. I mean, if this was Life is Strange 1... I'm not saying the Max Liar, because I don't believe it. I think I'll be ready soon. Yeah. Yeah. No rush. I mean, I guess the investigation is just a formality. But if this was Life is Strange 1, you know we would be breaking into that police station to read all the statements and gather info. I mean, that that's something Chloe and Max would do. I, I'm guessing this game's gonna be different because we don't have time rewind powers and... Uh, the dispensary is where exactly? I mean, this town is like literally just one street, so I'm sure we're gonna find it pretty quick. It's bullshit. We have a right to know what's happening to our jobs. Oh? Is there something going on with the mine? You guys don't think anything's really gonna change, right? Is it because of the incident? The investigation? It's hard to say. We can't really, like, read them, I guess, right now. Yeah, because they won't tell us a damn thing. Tell her pig books. Okay. I just still can't wrap my head around it. Someone died? Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. Yeah, so that is an awesome graffiti. Holy moly, that looks cool. Oh, that do is... Do you want to do something together next week? Oh, wow. Gorgeous. Sure. I have a pottery class Wednesday night. Want to join? Yeah, that... that is... wow. Why can't we... Guess they we... didn't feel like painting the mine. Can't we have nice graffiti like this in real life? It's it's always yeah, like I some... Usually grab a bite with Katie. Some weird, like, writing or something. Like, why, why... why most people don't do this kind of graffiti? Oh, I... I meant just the just two of us. Just some shitty, you know, writing stuff. Like, you can't even read what most of oh, them say. sorry. We met briefly. You're Gabe Chen's sister, right? Oh yeah, she's the woman. The one that Alex, works for the yeah. company. I didn't know him well, but I could tell he had a big heart. I'm so sorry for your loss. I have a theory that Gabe might have been calling her. But she said she didn't know him all that well. But like, I don't know. Wait. Uh, I guess in this town, certain substances are legal to use, cause... Oh, maybe it was Mac. Maybe he was just, like, doing something on... Or maybe he was high out of his mind on his job and he didn't know there was a call. Oh, the wee dragon. That's, that's so friggin' cool. That is a cool logo. Oh, these look so cool, but they are so bad for you. <sighs> drugs are bad. Don't do drugs. Unless you need Charlotte? them medically. Alex, hey. Jed said you wanted to see me. I just wanted to see how you were doing.
I'm not okay, but I'm trying to stay busy. I've been trying to stay busy mostly. Yeah, like, I cleaned up my room, like, today. Yeah. Distractions help. Uh, she was his girlfriend, though. She must be going through hell. How about you? I can't even imagine what you're going through. Honestly, I'm really trying to keep it together for Ethan. He's hurting. Oh, yeah. Gabe was like a dad to him. I hear he's Poor been kid. having a rough time. I mean, he, he was there. He practically just lost a father. It all happened because of him. But he's I mean, shutting me out. Not really. He's it's never done that fault, before. But the not kid like must think it's his fault. There's a plane going over the house. I don't know if you guys can hear that. He needs time, probably. But, like, I imagine Ethan was the reason why we were out there. So, in his mind, he's like a kid. He's thinking, like, this happened because of him. He's, he's probably thinking that. Everyone grieves differently. Maybe he just needs some time. We've been through a lot together, with the divorce and moving. He's never shut down like this. I just can't get through to him. I'm guessing we're gonna have the option to help. I can't get over the feeling that the one person who could help me deal with the aftermath of Gabe's death Escape. Crap. What is this? An affidavit from Typhon. If I sign, I'm agreeing not to press charges in exchange for a payment. Ooh. A big one. Hmm. A big one. That is shady. Definitely shady. That's so shady. Why would they be offering you money if they didn't do anything wrong? They say it's an offer of good faith, but you're right. He's dead because of them, and I'd be letting them off. They're defending the person responsible. But now I really Are need to Are you going to gonna sign it? <sighs> I don't know. I'm trying to put Ethan first, but... Well, yeah, you need... You have a shop, but it's in a small town. How much money does it really make? What would you do? Do you think it would be a betrayal oh of Gabe? Oh my god, how... I can't make this choice! I don't know enough! Oh my god. <sighs> I mean, he's a growing kid. He's probably gonna need therapy after this. He's gonna need to go to college. The money is good, but like, if you press charges and you can prove that they fucked up really big, you can get more money out of this. So maybe turn the offer down. Like, if we go to court, we could like make that money. I don't so. think you should sign it. I'm sorry. I know it's hard, but you can't let Typhon buy you off. Yeah, cuz like if if we get the evidence and go Gabe to court, Gabe made that call. And I'm going to prove it. I just I need some time. Yeah, cuz if we go to court, we can potentially get more money than they're Thanks offering. For being honest. 
I'm sorry, Charlotte, but there there is a possibility where we can make money. Maybe even more than they're offering. If they're willing to pay Charlotte to keep quiet, they're definitely hiding something. Can I get a wee dragon shirt? But yeah, like I really appreciate you stopping by. Feel free to take a look at my sweet logo. Bet Charlotte designed it herself. Like Yeah. Like drugs are bad for you. Don't do drugs. I know it looks cool, but like it's only okay to do drugs if like your doctor prescribed you like you you actually need this for like a medical condition you have. Then yeah, it's like if it's medically prescribed for for actual medical purposes, then they're okay. But like taking them like, you know, without without a medical professional to advise you, um that's not safe. That's not good. You know, and medical quality stuff is like it's not that bad for you as the thing they sell on the street, so it's like you know. Stay safe out there.